Have you ever farted in class? <laughs> Even if the sun goes down on you, you gotta keep that shine on top, yeah. On top, yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we have the jar of truth or the truth jar. Okay, so I have a bunch of questions in here and I'm gonna answer them all. Who's your best friend? Okay, so um, I have I have four best friends. Two of them are boys and two of them are girls. Um, one of them is my classmate. His name is Daniele. And my other best friend, is his name is Luis and he lives in London. He lives somewhere near London. And yeah, I haven't seen him in so long and I hope to see him again soon. Then the two girls are Mia. Mia is from Rome and last time I saw her was when we went to the concert together in London. My other best friend is, her name's Marty and she's from Manchester. And last time I saw her was also, it was also at the concert. And I really hope to see them again soon. What is your dream house? My dream house is not too big and not too small. I mean, not not a flat, not an apartment, but like those pretty houses with the garden and maybe also a swimming pool and yeah, a place where I could have a dog. Maybe a two-floored house with a big kitchen because I like cooking. So a big kitchen, um, maybe two or three bathrooms, like one bathroom on the first floor and then two bathrooms on the second floor and three to four bedrooms like that's like the ideal house i think mostly three bedrooms and a big garden so yeah that's my dream house top three favorite singers my top three favorite singers are i forgot their names um my top three singers are charlie puth sean mendes and selena gomez favorite song i got two favorite songs Mother by Charlie Puth and Rare by Selena Gomez. If you could change your name, what would you change it in? Hmm. This is a tough one. Okay, um, I personally wouldn't change my name because I like my name the way it is. I haven't really thought about this. I mean, I always like my name, so I haven't really thought about it. I just seem so boring. I'm not. I'm not that boring. I promise most embarrassing moment. There was this one time uh, we, um, we were in the Philippines, me and my family were in the Philippines and um, I know like three and a half languages. I mean, I don't know French that well, but I understand some of it. We were in the Philippines and me and my sister were out with my cousin Kian and we were at the mall. I had some paper in my hand that I, w I was supposed to throw some paper away. I mean, I went to the bins and like there were three of them there was green for like general waste blue for cans and yellow for plastic and since we were there for just like a week i was still getting like used to the, the change from the italian stuff to english so i got this paper and since paper in italian is carta i threw my piece of paper inside the cans like when i threw it in and I went back to my cousin and my sister. I realized that I threw paper in the bin full of cans. So I was like, oh no. Then yeah, I told them about it. My sister, I think she just laughed. And I don't remember. I think they both just laughed. Or my sister probably went, I'm just her. But yeah, that, that was really embarrassing. Also because there were other people looking at me when I did that, so yeah. That's probably one of the most embarrassing moments. When did you start getting into YouTube? Um, I started getting into YouTube when I was 14 actually. But since I, wa I was like, still a kid, I was still very, very much of a minor. And I didn't know what I was doing. So I had, I the first time I asked my mom if I could do a YouTube video was when I was 14. I think, I mean 13, 14 because it was sometime around 2016. I started getting into YouTube when I was 14 but still couldn't do videos because I, I don't know, I didn't, I, I just didn't make any videos. I mean, I always said that I wanted to do YouTube but I wasn't doing anything 
then two years later I, I actually started so yeah but my very first thought of making YouTube was when I was 14 what is your favorite color my favorite color is royal blue or no I'm kidding <laughs> my favorite color is just royal blue what inspires you um everything that's happening around me inspires me I mean my family my friends inspire me and like yeah ev pretty much everything around me inspires me okay I got two wait this dream life my dream life is to be or a famous author because I, I really hope that the books I'm writing now is are gonna like go big because I'm really putting my everything into it um, or become an actress because that I mean, it's it's a big dream but I can I'm always I can always try there's no harm in trying favorite book every breath from Nicholas Sparks I I had that book for like a year and a half now and I read it so many times I really love it have you ever fired in class in elementary school, I used to fart all the time, like every day at least, at least one or two farts. And then I would blame it on someone else, but, and yeah, and then the other one I got in trouble once, so like after that, I, I just, I stopped farting in class. Most embarrassing moment, part two. Oh, whoa, whoa, this is... <laughs> Okay, the second most embarrassing moment. Okay, this, I think this is the number one embarrassing moment. It was summer. It was like, I was maybe 13 or 14. And I was at my grandma's house because she lives like, she lives near an ice cream shop. So I decided to get some ice cream on my own. Right? Okay. So it was a five minute walk from my grandma's house to the ice cream, ice cream machine, ice cream shop. And when I got there, I mean, I had money, so I, mean, I obviously had money, but as soon as I got there, there was a price list, and the smallest one was a euro and 40 cents. So I walked to the cashier lady very confidently, and then I said, how much is the 140 ice cream? Then she just, just like giggled, then she said, <laughs> what, 140? I was like, oh really? Then she like points at the at the prices, and I was like, when she pointed at the price list, I realized that I just said the price. Then I went like, oh, I'm so sorry. Then I I think it I turned red. Then I said, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Then she just laughed it off. She's like, oh, that's fine. But yeah, that was really embarrassing dream boyfriend as long as he's tall and treats me right i'm fine with anyone honestly place where you would like to live somewhere in england probably on the countryside because like the countryside is like really calm and yeah it's just really quiet and you can have like lots of dogs i i really love dogs so yeah i don't like the busy roads like, i prefer like calm all the chill stuff who is the most hated person in the world for you I can think of some. No, I'm kidding. Hate is a big word, so probably highly disliked. Um, there are some people that I met like this past school year that I highly dislike. Last question. Have you ever done have you ever done something embarrassing in front of your crush? Okay, so probably in my whole life I just had two crushes. Like just two. One in middle school and then one in high school. Yeah, high school. I'm in high school right now. Probably the one in middle school. We were in PE. We were, I think we were playing volleyball. We both went to get the ball. I didn't know that he was gonna get the ball, but like we bumped against each other and then he stayed standing. Then while well, I was just like dying on the ground, I mean, it was embarrassing because I fell while he was just like standing there as if nothing has happened. Okay, so that was all the questions. Okay, so I'm editing the video and I noticed that I said that was all the questions. I meant to say those were all the questions, so yeah, it's my mistake, but yeah, it happens. Bye. Hope you guys like, hope you guys like this video. Comment, share, subscribe, like, I don't know, do whatever you want. And I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye. And if the sun goes down on you, you gotta keep that shine on top, yeah. On top, yeah. On top, yeah. And even if the sun